So you've got to do this thing where you create a boundary around your doubts. Okay? So what you do, the moment you have that feeling of like, uh-oh, like doom is about to come, right? Things are not working. You've got to, uh, so yeah, I have, I have it right now. So first, you have to be conscious of the conflict. Okay? First, you have to know what is it again that's going on? What, why is it again that I have the chronic diarrhea? Why is it again that I have this palpitation? What is it again that caused it? So you have to remind yourself, you know, th this symptom started because of that incident, that anger, that overwhelm. So you've got to be conscious of the conflict. That's it. So now, you've got to get your phone or alarm clock and you set a timer. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you think you need at that time. You set the timer, okay? And the moment you set the timer, your job is to wallow in that anxiety and depression and worry and fear. You now, for the next 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you're going to think about everything that's going to go wrong in your life, why your life is miserable, why you're miserable, why your life sucks, why everything is horrible in your life. You bring it on. You see what I mean? But for the time that you set, you just wallow in it, you face it. Don't hide from it. It's like if you have a day where you start to feel like, I don't know what it is today. I, I sort of don't feel like myself. I'm feeling a little down. I'm feeling like, you know, all this stuff I've been doing, it's working, not working. I Maybe it's a waste of time. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it. You start to get those doubts. And then see, okay, well, you know, I wonder why I'm feeling like this. What's, what's really causing this today? Is there something that, that led to me feeling crummy today? Right? And then you got to then just clock it. I say set it. I need about 15 minutes. Set the alarm on your phone and close your eyes, whatever you need to do, and just bring up all of it, all of it, all of that nasty, dirty, depressing, sort of ugly feelings, like, like feel it, right? And then when the alarm goes off, though, you got to take a couple of breaths, right? And then this is where, so then you got to clean it up, okay? So you take, when the alarm goes off, you take a couple of breaths, and then you do this simple visualization, where all you do is you close your eyes and you're going to picture a room. And it's got to be a, a room, like four walls and a door, like a basic room, okay? And in the room that you pick, it's in your mind, pick whatever room you want. It doesn't have to be big, it's just a standard room. It could be a room in your house that you see. On the floor in the room is going to be a bunch of papers. And on those papers are all of those fears and doubts and words. Don't even worry about what's written on it. Just know that there's, there's a lot of them. Some days when you do this, there's going to be 30, 50 of them. Some days it's going to be up to your ankle. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just acknowledge that that's, where they, that that's what those are. Today, man, but look at all these papers today. I didn't think there was that many. There's a lot. Okay? And then you get to pull out the vacuum. <laughs> so you, you need to somehow visualize. Remember those old R2-D2 vacuums? <laughs> which had like a thing like that or something? Right? So you got to visualize this vacuum. All you're going to do is you're going to see the papers get sucked up. Okay? The cool thing about this vacuum, though, it's a special vacuum, when you suck up those papers, it's got a shredder in it. So you're going to hear the papers get shredded. Okay? You're going to see them get cleaned up, it's sucking it up, then it's shredding it. Okay? And then somewhere back here, it's got an incinerator. So you're going to smell those papers get burned. Yeah, I know. It would be cool, right? So that's, and all your job is in that visualization, to see the room, to see papers all over the floor, those are all your fears, worries, concerns, anxieties. You're now cleaning them up, you're, you're shredding them, and then you're burning them. And, you can smell. and then your job is to make sure you don't get out of that room until every single paper is emptied or gone. There's, there's none left on the ground. And it's done. You take a couple of breaths, close the door, get out of the door, wake up, get up, and then get on with your day. Okay, that's dominating your doubts.